Hi you guys, welcome back to another vlog. For today's video, I'm going to be vlogging this weekend. Pedro and I are gonna be celebrating our 10 year anniversary and our one year wedding anniversary. But I'm currently getting ready, it's Friday. It's almost, he's almost home from work. Hey. And I have the kids here with me. I'm getting ready so we can go out. Originally thought about going to the beach and then thought about going to Vegas, but we're going to beach. Um, beach. with the weather being very difficult, fluctuating up and down, we just decided to just keep it simple, do something small with the kids. So honestly, we might just do breakfast Sunday because our anniversary is on Sunday. If I didn't say so, March fifth. Anyways, enough of this intro. I will see you guys throughout this vlog. I hope you guys enjoy it. I will see you guys soon. All right, it's been a minute. Pedro's now home from work. I just finished getting somewhat put together. Still just in t-shirts and some jeans, but I feel a little bit better. Did something with my hair at least and did my makeup. We are going to get ready to go get dinner. All right, we are back from having dinner. We've been home for quite a bit. We just ate and went to Target to pick up one thing, but we ended up just kind of getting the kids Easter basket stuff. I can show you guys actually what I'm putting in the Easter basket in just a moment, but the kids are in bed. They're already going to sleep. I think it's like eight. Like 8.30, I can't find my phone. So, um, I'm going to show you guys what I got for the Easter basket and then I'm going to call it a night. I completely forgot to record when we were out, but just know we just had burgers, fries, and pizza and it was really good. So I tried to make it a tradition to buy the kids East, like holiday baskets, but I really only do this like for three holidays, like four, three to four. I don't know, I mainly do like Valentine's Day, Easter, and Halloween, but I make it a tradition for every holiday, like major holiday, like Christmas, Thanksgiving, to do a book and pajamas for the kid, which I usually give them on the first day of the month, but when it's like a, a holiday that's not like a holiday that you lead up to some, some sort of excitement, like then I give them like a basket. And so I want to show you guys what I got for their baskets. So, um, Pedro and I don't really believe in, like, Santa or the Easter Bunny, and so I tried to derive my basket around that. I really want them to learn Jesus and know the reason for Easter, so I did make sure their books were focused revolving Jesus. Um, so I'll start with that because I actually got these a couple days ago. I got one. It's called The Story of Easter. And then another one is First Bible Words, and I thought these both of these were really cute. So what I do is for those holidays, I just write like on the back or on the last page. I'll put like to Jedediah um, from mom and dad, and then I'll put like Easter 2023 on it. And it's so cool because as the holidays continue, they'll have all these holiday books from over the years. And so I just really like that idea. Plus, I'm really into books with my kids. Like, I just really want them to have the... My battery died. But I was just saying, out of everything I give to my kids, like toys, clothes, books, are the most important thing for me. So I really make that a, an essential in our, like, yearly shopping things. Like, I'm always going to say yes to books. Okay, quickly, because I don't want this to take up forever. <clears throat> All this is from Target, by the way. Um, so we got them bubble blowers. I did bubbles last year, but I did the long skinny ones where you have to actually blow them. These are little bubble blowers. I got Jedediah a dinosaur shaped one. And I got Ayla a unicorn shaped one. And then we don't do like, well, I, I used to do egg decorating when I was younger, but like, when I got older, I kind of never really kept up with that tradition. And now that I have kids, I don't really know how I want to incorporate, like, eggs into Easter. But just for the sake of it, I bought these eggs, these wooden eggs that I think I want them to decorate. So I'm going to just put them in one of their baskets and we'll just paint them. Um, I got Ayla a little 
Encanto doll. And I got Jedediah, a Spider-Man figure. And I got them um, both a pack of... I thought it was Play-Doh. It's like dough. Wait, what? Oh, one slime and one is dough. So one will be for Ayla, one will be for Jedediah, for sure. And that's it. I, I'm going to find their baskets from last year, and I'm just going to put everything in them um, sometime next month because Easter is, like, over a month away. But I like getting these things out of the way because once it's Easter, like, approaching, you're not going to find any of these things. So I usually just pick a time where I feel like I have the mindset to just get their basket stuff and I just get what I need and I call it their baskets and I just keep it in my closet until I need to put their baskets together. So that's it. Oh wait, I did. I usually always give them also like a clothing item. almost forgot. So I got Ayla this little romper. It's like a cute little lavender purplish color. And just so that it matches, Jedediah, I found him this gray shirt. It's like a Jeep, but it has, I don't know if you could tell. It's just a Jeep, but the colors on it are pretty cool. It's like a blue, purple, pink, yellow color, and I thought those matched. Super cute. Um, so I got those. Um, sometimes I'll give them like, like I said, holiday pajamas or it'll be like a matching sort of shirt or just kind of random. I don't know. But that's their Easter baskets. I feel like it's fun. Books, bubbles, t like, um, dolls and then like the little slime. So that is that. Um, I don't think I recorded their Valentine's Day baskets, but I did those two. Um, that's going to be it for tonight. Tomorrow is Saturday the 4th, and so I will be vlogging whatever we end up doing. So, see you guys in the morning. Happy Saturday. Hey. Hey, Ada. Good morning, Mamacita Ada. Is she up already? <coughs> She's sitting up. Mm -hmm. I walked in to get the camera. <laughs> morning <clears throat> today we woke up about seven o'clock I don't want that <clears throat> uh, Layla just woke up it's eight o'clock now I ran out to grab me some sort of drink from Starbucks um, I know it has caffeine in it though I got a matcha a venti iced matcha latte stop moving this Ayla and I picked up McDonald's for breakfast. Jedi is eating some eggs, hash brown, and pancakes. Ayla is not eating. Pedro and I got a breakfast sandwich. And we are just watching some PJ Masks. What, baby? Oh, food. No! Yeah, the food. Alright, I am about to get ready to clean out, finish cleaning out my And be on the lookout for a spring cleaning video because I'm starting this series where I kind of clean through my house and declutter. And um, my closet is going to be part of it. I'm not showing like in depth, I'm just kind of going over some cleaning, things that I'm getting done. So, that is that. This is what my closet is currently looking like. So clothes on the floor that are dirty, and then over here is what I want to work on, is Paige's stuff. <laughs> Here's an update. We kind of, and you still need to fix those hats, but kind of organized here. I need to fold these. Went through his closet. I need to fold all this and hang some of, the, some of it up. We do still have all of this to organize. This is all more stuff that needs to get folded. This is all his donations, that's laundry. Um, it's nine, a little after 9.30 and I actually have to leave to go get a pedicure and so I will probably finish this later when the kids are napping but that's what I've gotten through so far. Pedro's going to take care of the kids. I am going to be back in about an hour. Um, since we didn't finish, I'm not dropping off anything to Goodwill. Probably will do get, get that done. I don't know if they're open tomorrow but I'll probably get that done later. So I'm going to grab my water, grab my AirPods and dip out. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> I 
All right, I am back from getting my pedicure. Did not get my nails done. I just got my feet done because I needed some maintenance. <clears throat> I'm going to finish off with this cloth. I think I showed you guys what it looked like, but basically I need to bag all the donations and then fold all the clothes that are staying. And then um, after I finish that, I'm just gonna kind of work on this stuff a little bit. I don't wanna do this all day. It's currently 12, almost 12.30. My kids are napping. And so I'm just planning on maybe doing this until they wake up and then I'll probably just pick up on it another day because it's a lot. But once again, be on the lookout for my decluttering video because um, hopefully it motivates you guys to just clean and donate your guys' stuff that you no longer wear. All right, this is what the closet is looking like. We still got a lot to do. Still have time. The kids are still asleep, so I will check in with, in with you guys in a bit. All right, that's about four bags filled with donations. Pedro's currently um, putting away some other clothes that we have all around the room. And so this is just me trying to reset our house and get things in order because it easily just accumulates and causes me so much chaos mentally. And so it's nice to finally be able to go through things, donate, kind of get a little fresh start. About to finally leave the house. It's With already a backwards shirt. inside out. 3.30. We're going to go out and run a couple errands and get something to eat for lunch. And then that's probably it. So we'll see you guys a little bit later. <laughs> Nila's just taking everything off. It's wow. 8 o'clock at night. The kids are sleeping. I'm so tired. I'm about to no. probably shower and go to bed. Um, he's just playing his game. But earlier, we left and went to eat lunch. And then we had to stop at a like bridal wear stuff. Because Pedro's going to be in a wedding. So he had to do his measurements. And then we went to a couple of stores I needed to stop at. And now we're back home and the kids are in bed. That's going to be it for today. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Happy anniversary to my husband and I. Oh, don't mind if my face looks greasy and I look a mess. But today is Sunday, March 5th. And Pedro and I are celebrating our 10 years together and our first wedding anniversary. And I actually got to sleep in a bit with my daughter, as you can hear her. Um, let's go out and see what Jedi and Aiden and Pedro have been doing for the past hour or so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She likes to play the piano with her booty. All right, guys, I we got back from eating. I did like a really quick video on my phone. My camera on my phone is actually messed up, so I couldn't record much. I feel like I'm doing a horrible job vlogging this weekend, but I still want to document it. We went to go have breakfast with the kids, and now we're back home, and... I've been in the worst like feeling all morning. It's like gloomy and raining and I'm hella like I'm extra tired. And so I'm going to just rest here for a while. While I can. So um we don't have much going on. I'll probably just record a little bit while we're getting dressed, a little bit later for our date, and then hopefully record at our dinner. If not, oh well, I'm still documenting this weekend, even if it's just updates. So gonna go take a nap. Two girls with fucking one body, two heads, whatever. They're like, what?
Okay, today is our 10 years, ugh, 10 year anniversary. What do you have to say? Hi, my name is Pedro. I've been with this beautiful woman for 10 years. She's my world. Can't believe it's been one year since you got married. A year and a half. A year. <laughs> I need to fix my teeth. Oh, it's cold. I'm gonna go in your jacket. I don't like when you're taller. Too. You wanna stir it? We made it back home. We had a great day. Walked around Target real quick and picked up a few things that we kind of needed. Um, originally, we wanted to go out and get us like a gift, but it's Sunday, it's late, and so we did not do that, but we made it back home. Um, it's about nine o'clock now. I'm taking off my makeup and about to get ready for bed. It was a great night. And paid her in the morning, so we're going to bed. This is going to be the end of this vlog. I'm going to do my best to edit it and upload it tomorrow or sometime this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys soon. Bye.